Howdy all and welcome to Lex Lives. I think it's time to play a little Infitech 2. Alright. Uh, so, I, uh, I've been working on here today um, oh, for a little bit. And uh, I actually, actually just recorded and then found out it only recorded for three minutes and stopped. I must have bumped the button. I don't know why else it stopped. But, uh, I, uh, I have been working on here quite a bit today. I've been trying to, um, stop me from having to run back and forth a little bit here. Uh, so you see I've got some Ender IO conduit running, and uh, I've got running to a couple of different places at the moment. Um, and one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to get my, my dimensional anchor here, uh, so that it was constantly receiving fuel. Uh, that way this place is running when I am not here. It's only set to one chunk, though. And I'm not sure that one chunk is enough. I I really need to look up how this stuff works. I don't know if it's the chunk it's in or a chunk around it. Uh, I know one chunk isn't big enough to reach everything, um, but I don't know if it's a single chunk or if it's like one chunk and the chunks around it. Um, plus there's some, you know, when things are moving from one chunk to another, sometimes that'll keep chunks loaded. So I don't know, uh, but uh, it's a start. Um, doing some math earlier and looking things up, uh, it's 1,800 ticks to make charcoal. Uh, and so that translates into 90 seconds. So every 90 seconds, one of these makes a charcoal. Uh, it, at one chunk, a one by one area, um, this is going to be one minute per charcoal. And, uh, so if it takes a minute and a half to make a charcoal and it's one minute to burn a charcoal, then I need two of these running into this, and so that's what I've done. These two back here, uh, I set them up so that they produce charcoal for the chunk loader. Uh, anything faster than that, like one, or bigger than that, one number up, drops the ratio from one minute to 10 seconds per charcoal, um, which is insane. Uh, I mean, I guess mathematically it kind of makes sense, but whatever, I don't know. It, it pretty much makes this thing impossible to automate. Like, I could get a whole bunch of charcoal up and going and dump it in here, and, uh, you know, and then I guess could run it for, I think, it, I think with all the charcoal I can put in it, I can run it for about a half hour on my 3x3, three three. I don't know. I might just make some more of these... <laughs> you know, and uh, add them in there. Um, to make charcoal in the uh, in the alloy smelter down here takes um, 700 RF per charcoal. And um, uh, there's another way to do it too, but it takes like 2,000 RF to do it. I don't know, it's crazy. But I also run this down here. Uh, I don't know why it refused to, but it refused to allow me to run directly into the large boiler uh, and I don't know why because it'll take it from this chest and put it in there but it wouldn't take it any other way as far as I could tell uh, and so any charcoal that's made now beyond the ones that are I know that's like a just a smidgen but hey you know what it's constantly running in there so we'll call that good another reason why I want to make some more Coke ovens, maybe. I like the Coke ovens because I don't have to produce power for them. Uh, it makes it makes it easy, I guess. Um, what else did I do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I organized my chests. That's right. My chests down here, not the ones upstairs, the ones down here, are organized. Uh, we've got... Um, 
things that I use during construction, like flint and gunpowder, um, any dusts that are left over, like, I don't know why you're even down here. You should be upstairs getting cooked into steel, for that matter. Uh, and um, any ores that don't happen to be in the chest next to... Well, I guess there are no... They're down here. Uh, any ores that aren't in that <laughs> or, you know, crushed anything that just didn't... Like you, why are you small piles? Because four of those makes one of these. Um, and then this one's all my ingots and my nuggets and my diamonds. Oh, and redstone and glowstone made it in there too. Uh, this one is clay, bricks, and various blocks. Uh, this one is whatever's left over. And then we've got my tools and my wires and my machines and machine parts. And same thing down here. And empty. Uh, which is awesome. It makes my life a lot easier. For sure. Uh, this thing has not run all day. Apparently it's not getting any steam today. It's all flowing into batteries. Uh, so, uh, one of the things I did in between episodes is I went ahead and made up some more batteries. And so this thing here... Ooh, I apparently ran it dry. That sucks. That means I lost... Yeah, I lost an aluminum. Dang it. You had 50,000... Who is sucking up the juice, man? Someone somewhere is sucking up all my steam. Because those batteries weren't charging. You drive me crazy, game. Absolutely crazy. Where's that steam going to? If these batteries aren't charging... I don't... I guess I did use some of these machines. You don't have a battery in you, so it'll be in the back. Must be charging the batteries in back, I guess. Because there's not enough steam to run the... Right? No steam in there. Well, this... Yeah, there's steam running in there. I don't know what it's doing. It's driving me crazy. That's what they're doing. Driving me crazy. Uh, here. Nope, not there. Here. I stole all your charcoal. I'm gonna put it in the large boiler down here. Bloop. Bloop. I was gonna say, you didn't just eat 13 charcoal in one second, alright? Okay. Although it, it's going to be like five seconds. <laughs> no power. Bizarre. I don't know. I don't understand this steam stuff. I just still don't get it. Oh, it's also nighttime. That doesn't help. Sometimes, sometimes those solar boilers just produce tons of of power and then other times I got nothing I don't get it I don't get it but hopefully this will allow things to run without me being here and so I can just let stuff run in the background maybe uh, cause see I don't know this isn't close enough to run like this over here uh, right cause that's way outside the chunks in fact I can look at this um, right? That's a chunk boundary. So, uh, this, this is a chunk. Oops. Uh, I, sorry, that gray wall kind of throws me off there. This is a chunk, so my entire tree farm is inside of a chunk. All right, so this part here, which is where some of the cables run, is inside a chunk. And part of my Coke ovens are inside the chunk. And then, oh, that must be against the wall. 
And then some of them are in this chunk. And then some of them are in this chunk, obviously. And some of them are in this chunk, which also contains part of my solar. And then the rest of my solar is in this chunk. <laughs> uh, maybe I ought to just turn this on and move everything into the same chunk. And then I could run everything off of the same deal, right? That seems pretty crazy. I could probably do it. Maybe I should do it. Um, I should take everything I've got, move it into this chunk right here, and then do like an underground tower. And then I could... Oh, look, it's not. Ooh, it just barely is. I'd have to move it over a little bit. Maybe that's something I should think on. That's a lot of moving stuff. I'm, I might do that, though. That might make my life a lot easier if it's all in one place. I like to sprawl. I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the... I was like, where's the door? But that's the pillar in the middle of the room. I like to sprawl everywhere. But if I moved everything into the same chunk... Instead of being so far apart... Uh, do you think it's time to move all my stuff? Jeez, I don't know about that. It seems like so much work. It would it would make my life a lot easier. Though. All right, let's turn this gray wall of well, that's better. Bzz, 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 cut me in half. Uh, all right, so now it's charging. Anyways, um. What else did I want to look at? Uh, all right. Obviously, obviously we should look at this. I have been working on the parts for this, the advanced circuit. I am just one little bit from making the next machine, uh, which would be a good reason to move because I need to rearrange my power distribution uh, because I can't uh, I can't connect another machine in here that I could easily reach so now might be a good time to actually move all this stuff um, yeah I uh, I've got everything made for the advanced forming press which is the second level forming press because it needs 64 EU to make the parts uh, except for I need 12 more aluminum ingots to be able to make the last parts. Uh, I've got two electric motors. In fact, let's just go look at the recipe real quick. Adva advanced, what was it called? Forming. Uh, so I've got copper wire. I made the two good electric circuits. Uh, I've got the MV machine hull on me, and the electric pistons need six aluminum ingots per piston. So I've got to make two of those, so I need 12 of those. I've got the two electric motors made. I've got copper wire. So I'm all good on that. Uh, and so all I need is to make those 12 more. But now that I think about this, I really ought to move all my stuff into a single chunk, and that would just make my life so much easier, I think. Not everything, like I don't need my, my garden in the chunk, but I need all my machines together so that I can run them in one chunk with the uh, with the chunk loader. Uh, plus, it would allow me to rearrange things so that I have like a machine floor and a power generation floor and things like that. So one of the things I just said I would have to do though, broken, is I'm going to have to move this over. Ooh! Woo, I just fell right in a hole. I'll have to move this over a smidge. So let's do that. Whoa. What was that?
Oh, <laughs> that startled me. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I hit the, the uh, look at that. I hit the ore node with my <laughs> my drill. I thought something was attacking me. <laughs> okay, now, uh, cobblestones. So what I'll do is I will put down some cobblestones, like so. Oh, really? Didn't I? Oop, don't touch that. It's hot. Did I just pull these out of there? How am I two cobble... Oh, because one fell down in there. Uh, anyways, it's not the cobblestones that I really need. It's the stone brick. That I'm going to need. So let's uh, go over here. And then we're going to replace you anyways okay and then we're actually gonna replace you as well and you're the pieces I need so awesome alright now cobblestone Goes in. Oh, now I've got some weird tree just hanging out on the edge there. I'm going to manually remove that. Do I have an axe on me, even? I do. Okay. Wasn't sure. I don't do a lot of things chopping down trees since I made the tree farm, so... Uh, oh, that was it? It was two bits, or did you just chop it down? I don't know. But that moves this fully into the chunk, other than doing this side over here. Uh... You have got to come down here with me. Oh, you gotta get out of there. I think it should put it in its own dirt. Or maybe it just replaces the dirt. I'm not sure on that. Aw oh, man, I'm like one piece of cobblestone shy of making that look nice. Uh, okay, yeah, it puts it in its own dirt. Alright, well, let's go ahead and put that dirt in there and you can manage that. Alright, so that's a start. <laughs> now, if this is going to be for my farm, then I need to clean all of this out to the chunk edge, right? Makes sense. Ooh, you know, but what about things that require solar power? Well, I guess I can solar power things up above, but... And we'll just basically clean all this out to the chunk edges. And uh, I'll start making some rooms, I guess. Uh, and uh, start moving all my stuff over here so I can just use a single chunk loader that, uh, that keeps the one chunk loaded. It sounds like a good plan. It sounds like a lot of work as well. But I think it'll be worth it if I can run this thing without me actually being on running around the whole time. Uh, plus less piping between things, so less, uh, less needed materials for that, which is also probably going to be nice. Uh, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, I don't think you want to see me just stand up here and dig out this stuff for the next... Uh, however long it's going to take me, but, uh, uh, yeah. So maybe next time I'll have my new base all sorted out down in here, and, uh, I know, right? I'm moving from a cave into a cave. It's all right, though. It'll, uh, I tend to go into caves, I guess, in this game, really. It's just easier that way. 
But, uh, whoa. I've fallen in a hole. Alright. Click like if you like. Subscribe to be sure and catch the next one. Uh, and I will talk to you later.